Discover Mobile. Take Fox Sports 1350 with you using iHeartRadio. It's the IE's home for sports. KPWK AM 1350, Riverside, San Bernardino. An iHeartRadio station. This is Robert Littell for BlackSportsOnline.com, and I'm out here with Fox 1350. We are Fox Sports. Yes, we are back in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sportsnet, connected by Fox Sports. Protected by. <laughs> protected by the Riverside Sheriff's Association, right here live on Fox Sports AM 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here. Visit us on the web at foxsports1350.com. Yes, and, and as we, as you said, uh, we are protected by the Riverside Sheriff's Association, who are the honorary sponsor, the title sponsor for the Riverside County All-Star Game, something we're really excited about, Coach B. The Riverside Sheriff's Association game. This is going to be the third year. Like I said, we already have some coaches that we're talking to. We're not going to announce it yet. Nope. But the planning has already begun. And what is this? This is September. Yes. The game is not until January, but we've already begun the planning stages of that. So we're excited about that, three years of that game. Uh, but we're excited, too. We have a, 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 a young gentleman in the studio. We met him when we first started this journey. Yes. Um, it's one of those things, you know, you, you as you're building and you're growing, it's everyone gets a little busy. But but I'm glad that you're here. I'm definitely happy to have you in studio. If you would be so kind to introduce yourself and you brought someone with you, by all means, let the audience know. Yes, sir. My uh, name is Mike Feaster. I run the uh, Rising Stars Basketball Academy. And uh, with me today is uh, Coach Walter Garland. Um, we're here. Glad to be here. Uh, it's nice to see you guys again. Indeed. And, uh, Looking forward to doing some stuff with you guys. Absolutely. Before we get started, like I, like I said, when we talked about this at the top of the show, um, whenever we always give people a little quick uh, bio to write about themselves, and you put down you served in the uh, the United States Marine Corps. So we want to thank you for your service. Thank you very we much. We absolutely Fantastic. want to thank you yes. for your service. And you're doing a three-on-three. Three. Tell us a little bit about that, and you said it's, it's, it's going to benefit a charity. So tell us about that and everything that's going on with that. Okay, well, every year we do a uh, Battle for the Cure charity event, and usually it's a five-on-five youth tournament. Uh, we decided to ch- flip it up a little bit this year and make it fun for the whole family. So it's adults, it's uh, high school, and it's elementary or uh, middle school. And it's a three-on-three charity event, and it's going to be uh, – the proceeds are going to be going towards Michelle's Place uh, Breast Cancer Awareness down in Temecula. Fantastic. And now and, – and again, now, tell us why you felt it was important <clears throat> – excuse me, it was important – uh, to, to do something like that because, again, you know, philanthropy is always a, a good thing. But tell us everybody the process in terms of maybe even how you were associated with that outlet. Okay. Um, we have a club manager, uh, Denise Taylor, who's not here today. Um, and we uh, have, over the years, always wanted to do charity work with, mm-hmm. our, with our program. So it's not just uh, us, you know, coaching basketball, mentoring young kids. We want to give back to the community. And that's been one of our goals. So she's actually the one that hooked up with uh, Michelle's Place. Um, we're also going to be doing another event later this year. It's going to go to the Wounded Vet Program. Nice. And then we're looking at doing a third one that we're still looking for a charity. Fantastic. Um, mm-hmm. So we used to do tournaments all the time, and they were kind of for-profit. We've got aw- gotten away from that. Yeah. We're just doing charity events. We're only doing two or three a year, and that's pretty much all we're doing. Fantastic. Well, you know, the Inland Valley Sports Hall of Fame is a nonprofit. Yeah, about yes, and it helps about fund that. our, yeah, our hey, scholarships. Yeah, yeah, so that's something do. we definitely – we can talk about that off yeah. <laughs> We're always looking for ways to, to pay for that. Because, you know, one thing is – one thing Eternal and I realize – we can we can give these kids scholarships all day, but then we got to pay for them. Yeah. So so that's the one thing that we realized. And also, you know, I just I, I just know. So Santa Rosa Academy, yes. you're the girls' basketball coach. That's cool. Yes. I hear that gym is amazing. We it haven't had a chance is, to get there. Yeah. It is amazing. Ten million dollar plus gym. Uh huh. Um, the facility is phenomenal. Um, they're not opening it up to the public yet. Uh, <laughs> they, I, can, I understand. <laughs> yes, it, it's their third year for uh, the gym there. Um, they did just do a. Uh, uh, Youth League out of there. Okay. So that process is starting, but, you know, we're trying to get them to open it up to do some of our charity events in there, too. So. It would be a great place for Rising Stars. Fantastic. But, you know, <laughs> one thing, uh, Eternal, is it, correct me if I'm wrong. We do a small schools all-star game in Riverside, right? Hey, do, uh, hey look, yeah. that's what we do. We need a, a girls' basketball coach. Yes, we do. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just, say. you know, got to make these connections, <laughs> you know? And, 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 so, uh, I, I was just about to say, so we, we have – let's get Coach, coach Walter uh, up real quick. Yep. Coach, coach Garling, excuse me. Hey, I man, I'm sure trying to that. secure a coach for the, hey, man, for hey, the man, all-star so, game. We got both of them, right? You know, so please go ahead and introduce yourself, Coach. Hey, I'm Coach Walter Garling out of Heritage High School. This is my first year there, so – um. 
just happy to be here today. Fantastic. So. Now, tell everybody about the uh, the, the Rising Stars. What, what, uh, give us a little background and, and the purpose, please. Um, basically, we um we started just with um a small group of girls. We had one team, and we um started Rising Stars, and then all of a sudden it kind of grew right um from just a middle school group for like eighth graders, and it turned in from like sixth graders all the way up to high school. Right. So um it's grown in the last, but we're on our starting our third year right now, actually, right. and it is. It's moving pretty quick. Now you know. Now, uh, 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 you guys are like, obviously out of Temecula, just to confirm. Is that correct? Well, we were in Menifee, actually. Yeah, yeah, like, we're out of California. He was like, he was like, he was like, he was like, well, <laughs> no, he was like well, let's Menifee. put it really out there, like, you know, so it's Menifee. But no, but again, like, but, but again, in terms of the program, like, what what's the goal like right now in terms of like working with these young ladies and trying to get them established? Like, what's the ultimate goal for the Rising Star? Well, the ultimate goal is for our younger kids is to get them in as varsity players coming into high school. Um, with the goal for them as they get into high school is to be a four-year player looking to be a D1 player in college. Okay. Right. Well, you know, I had dreams and ambitions, but, I mean, I just never got on the court. But that's not important. <laughs> that's not I'm important. I'm going to I was rec league MVP, though. <laughs> right? Rec league, right. I was out there tearing it down, Coach B. I, and, and, you know, I didn't even get on the court then when they had must-play rules and my mom paid. I still didn't get it. I was at the, 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 uh, the uh, YMCA in Compton. Still right. didn't get on the court. But right. it's okay. Right. It's okay, man. That's that's years ago. Uh, but tell us a little bit, why, why are you guys so excited about doing the charity work and giving back. Why? Because there are, like, like you said, there are, like Mike said, there are a lot of organizations out there that, that a lot of money is generated, but it doesn't go back into the community. Why is that so important for the Rising Stars Basketball Academy? Well, <clears throat> for what I understand, I don't see anyone else doing that. Right. Um, it's a great opportunity for us to give back, and hopefully other teams will follow suit and do the same thing. Right, right, right. You know, um, it's just really a, just a great thing to do. You know, mm. there's a lot of people out there that can use our use our charity help. Right. And every dollar helps. So right. wherever it comes from, who's ever helping, is just going to be something great for the community. Well, you know, there's three kids in Fontana. The last name's Arrington. Um, they just so happen to live in my house. So, I mean, that, that's but, but, I've been I, taking I, care of them for years. So, right? I mean, okay. I need some help. <laughs> and, then, and then I want to make sure you put this out there. You said you, got, you, said you guys got your girls to the championship in the Vegas tournament. So, tell everybody, just to kind of give us a little brief breakdown about, about that experience. And Vegas is huge for AAU. Yeah, it is. They yeah. do all the big stuff in Vegas. Yeah. Okay. So, this year we did make it to the championship. We took second in, the, um, in Vegas. Um, last year was a little tough for our girls. They were all kind of just kind of put together as a team. Yeah. We had talent, but um, we just weren't ready last year. Right. So we got in the gym, and we worked hard all year long, and we came back this year, and the girls were very excited. Just the way they played, the way we saw how they played compared mm -hmm. to last year, it mm -hmm. was just so much growth in that short period of time, and the confidence that they have now is just amazing. Good well, that's, stuff. Well, that's good, good stuff. Again, we have – uh, coach uh, Walter Garland from the Rising Stars basketball also has the uh, the JV girls coach over at Heritage. Is that correct? Correct. All right. So well, that's why hence the Heritage com uh, yeah. uh, question. Yes. There you go. Exactly. That was a big right. win last night for yeah, Heritage, yeah, man. Yeah, it was. Right. It was big time. Yeah. And, and, it, and like I said, they did that. They had time, so they beat them at home. So, you, they, you know. Well, today they had time. They had time. There so, you go. So let's, let's go ahead and get Coach Mike back on real quick. I want to make sure we, get, we give some props to this this three-on-three. -three and, again. you know, we're, we're, we're recording, right? So I mean, I just want to say, Inland Valley Sports Hall of Fame. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a nonprofit. I can bring yep. the tax ID and everything. I mean, if, yes. if needed. You know, I just want to give you that idea and see what your thoughts are about. You know, doing some things to help. I like you know. it. I mean, I these like kids. It. I mean, you were talking about giving back to the community and kids. I mean, these scholarships are expensive. You know. Yes, they are. But but you know, talk a little bit about that three on three. Tell us the dates, the locations, the time. Okay. And is are people still? Are you still taking signups? Yes, we're taking signups all the way till Friday, October thirteenth. I think the deadline is. Um, it is October 20th and 21st. It's okay. going to be held at uh, Lakeside uh, High School. Um, we'll have three full courts, uh, which actually make for six games at one time. Okay, okay. Um, we have a charity division, which it's old dudes or females. That sounds like me. Play, that sounds like me. Just to get out there and get some run. Uh -huh. you know, not really competitive, but uh -huh. you know, still got a little bit of game. I want to come out and play. Uh -huh. um, we've got the competitive open division for men's and women's. Um, then we've got like a over th or under 30, under 20, the high school, so on and so forth. Um, it's $80 for youth teams. It's 120 for adult teams, so it's not that expensive. It's only a $5 gate fee, which you do not see anymore at any Oh. Basketball events. It's 10 uh -huh. plus, which uh -huh. is ridiculous. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, um, again, a portion of all the proceeds are going directly to Michelle's place. I think we got 
fifteen hundred to them last year. No, tell tell me, explain what's Michelle's place for Michelle's everyone who's not familiar. Michelle's place is a breast cancer awareness center down in uh, Temecula, California. Okay. Um, we've had a few friends and family members um, that have gone through it. Um, it's been a great resource for them. Mm-hmm. So we help promote that for anybody that you know is. is in the need of assistance. Mm-hmm. Um, last year, we also did a little bit of work with them for the holidays to okay. help families that had cancer that needed help with gifts and stuff. So we did a toy drive. Okay. Got them a little bit of money for that, too. So it's a great facility. It's a great place. If you haven't been down there, you can go down there and check it out. I mean, they help out with wigs for the women. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if they've never gone through it, if they don't have anybody, a support, you know, line for them, mm-hmm. they provide that. And it's all free. And uh, you have the website. If, if not, Eternal can pull it off the internet. If you have the website or the phone number or anything, it's, it's called, but it's called Michelle's Place. Yes. If you, uh, any social media, website, whatever, just look up Michelle's Place. It's Michelle's Place Breast Cancer Awareness Center is what it's called, the full name. But if you look up Michelle's Place, and I think it's M I C H E L L E apostrophe S, uh-huh. it'll pull it up, and then you can find out all the information about it. And, there. and like I said, we're going to make sure we get some uh, some content from you, so that way we can okay. put it on our And I got it, Michelle'sPlace.org. There it is. Right yeah, Michelle'sPlace.org. Yeah. And, and their phone number is 951-699-5455. For folks so, who want to go out there and yes. support that. So, again, Mike, keep up the good work. Obviously, I want, we want to make sure you keep us in the loop. Yes, and sir. keep up the great thing you're doing with those young ladies out. That's something that we have to make sure we continue to support. Yep. And uh, like I said, whatever we can do on our side, please let us know. Okay. And, and, and they have a free mattress event going on? Oh, man. Oh, hold, on. There you go. Well, now, now, hold on a second. Now let's talk about now let's talk about the free mattress joint. We got to make sure we put that out there. Right, okay. right. I, you know, I could use a little, I, you know, I got I got five mattresses. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's a ma- he's he's in dire need of mattresses. Right, get, right. Rising stars. We have Coach Mike. Uh, Give us Coach, your information. Please. How, how do they get in contact? Uh, if with anybody you? wants to reach out to us, they can go to ierisingstars.com. Yes. Uh, we have a big uh, uh, social media following on mm-hmm. Instagram and um, uh, Facebook, both at IE Rising Stars. Um, you can contact us at 858-837-1975. Currently, we're doing training on Tuesdays and Sundays. Um, we're getting ready for high school, so we're not playing any games or anything right, right now. But right. if anybody's looking to get some training, youth through high school, uh, we're out there and ready. There you go. Again. And then I, I know before when we first met Please. you, because you played basketball, and then you had your three daughters, and that's one of the things yes. that got you involved in yes, doing sir. it. Are they in high school or college, or where are they at I now? have one girl pl- uh, play- that played up at Pacific University up in Oregon. Okay. okay. Uh, my high school daughter kind of fell off the love of the game, but <laughs> right. she's uh, got a good career uh, going. She's a senior at Heritage High School right Fantastic. now. So okay. Hey, hey, not there doing basketball, is. but hey. hey she's doing the thing. 4.0 right. students. Oh, hey, that's hey, even better. We'll, we'll take that. Yeah. We'll take yeah. 4.0 all day. Yes, sir. Well, Coach, again, keep up the good and work. And he has one more. He had one more. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh. You got one more. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. Well, sorry. So what, yeah, you oh, had three. Oh, uh, my one other daughter did, never played. So okay. Yeah, okay. She, she's not the so, athlete. So, so <laughs> my, that's like me. I never played either. I mean, maybe she has a history in radio. Yeah. You know what? Oh, go ahead. We we just wanted to give a shout out. We got three sponsors for the event. We're still looking Please. for a couple more sponsors. Yes. So Harkins Family Mattress. Okay. Okay. Dave is the one that con- reached out to you guys. Okay. Yes. Get okay. this set up. Uh, Love and Focus Photography. Okay. And then Z Best Auto Body and Paint out of Lake Elsinore. So Z Best. Right. You know yep. what? I, I I need to talk. My, so my I bought my daughter. I, well, we got my daughter. My uh, I bought my daughter a uh, 2003 Honda Accord, and I okay. need a paint job. So if Z Best, there it is. You know, I'm saying, you know, Z Best. I got quoted. My, uh, Earl Shab. <laughs> Quarter me eight fifty, but Z bats, <laughs> come on, man, yeah. holla at your boy, right, you know. Yeah, yeah, right <laughs> so we got a treaster sent, yeah, he'll hook you up. Fantastic. Right? Well, well, again, rising stars, we, we're right here live, and again, you got uh, when's that that three on three again, please? October twentieth and twenty first. Fantastic. Now, what we got to do right now, um, uh, before we get done, because we do have a we have a uh, we have a ticket giveaway that we're doing, and I got to make sure I put these guys out there already. Now, uh, we want to make sure we thank our guy Kevin over at the Ontario Improv. We are giving away tickets. To the Jeremy Piven show for my guy from Don Tarage. Right, right. Okay, so uh, we have tickets going to a pair of tickets going to Joe Delgado. He was okay. one of the winners. All right. And then we have our guy John Jefferson is one of the winners. So congratulations, you guys will get free pair of tickets to go see our guy Jeremy Piven tomorrow night from Entourage. There from, you go, from Entourage. There, there you it go. is right there. All right. So you know, again, that's courtesy of the Ontario Improv. Thanks to our guy Kevin. And then Z Best. Uh, they're going to get a chance to take care of Coach B. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 right, <laughs> right, right again. Oh, yeah, and name drop those sponsors again, man. We have, we want to make sure we get those sure. sponsors. Uh, Z-Best, make yep. sure we get a- <laughs> Z-Best Auto Body and Paint out of Lake Elsinore, California. Then you got Harkins Family Mattress, which is out of uh, the Riverside area. And then Love and Focus Photography, which is out of uh, the Nuevo Menifee area. Fantastic. All right. again, thank you so much. And now just to let everybody know, we will be live at the L.A. Clippers Media Day on Monday. And then tomorrow, Coach B, we're going to be hanging out with the Riverside Rams. 
There you uh, go. For the, for the pictures, they're, they're going to be featured in the IE Sports Net magazine as well. So, again, big weekend. Make sure you guys stay tuned. And if you guys want to get live to the minute scores. Uh huh. And this is what this is during I mean, during during Friday Night Lights. You can mm-hmm. be right there on your on your phone. You go to IE Sports Net. That is IESportsNet.com. And you can get live up to the minute scores right now. And next Friday, we'll be at Etiwanda, their game of the week. Yes. Uh, so we will be back live on the Fox Sports 1350 High School Game of the Week. Um, and I just re- realized, were you talking about Z-Best at uh, 18560 Pasadena uh, Avenue in Lake one. Elsinore, phone number 951 951- Four seven one five five three zero. Is that's that, it. that's that? Okay, that's I'm just it. making sure, man. If they see a 2003 <laughs> Honda Accord uh, coming right. up, uh, uh, you know, I'm gonna say Coach Feaster sent me. Yes, you sir. know, so just a little sample of what we can do here on Fox Sports 1350. He is you know? sweating hard over a hot microphone. And you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take some heat for that because the station's gonna say, "Hey, Brian, okay, yeah. you know, we can't be giving away free ads." <laughs> and, so, and, and by the way, thank you for raising canes. We're out absolutely. Here. You are tuned into the new home for IE Sportsnet. Every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. with Coach B. Andy Turner. When it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. On Fox Sports Radio, 1350 a.m. IE Sportsnet. Every Saturday morning, 8 a.m.